everyone. This is Reverend Dr. Rebecca Michael. I'm a health and fitness buff as well, Christian counselor. And one of the streams of counseling I do is physical health, and also I do mental health series because I'm in the full, I'm into the full spectrum of health, and uh, so also spiritually, of course. And uh, so this is my little dog, our little family dog and mascot for Phoenix Alive Christian Ministries, Incorporated in Canada where I'm the president there, among other things, working with other ministers worldwide, and one of the things we do is media stream. And so I'm doing a pilot series over the summer, and this is one of them, called Dad Kicking Butt Cast Health and Fitness Series. And so today I have a motivational tip for you, and also a couple of uh, uh, e-excerpt or book recommendations uh, as uh, well, uh, and a website. Yes, uh, www.letsrun.com. I highly recommend that website for aerobic fitness. Now, as I've said before, most of my talks are on brisk walking. Start with brisk rock walking, work your way up to a slow jog, to a, a, a long, slow distance, uh, because we're long, slow distance, biological uh, running distance uh, uh, ma the, the mammal part of our uh, selves, our biology, uh, now so we respond well. <clears throat> All of us can become distance runners because it's the way we're designed. If, if we have uh, you know all everything uh, fairly normal and we have uh, medical clearance, if you have limitations, sometimes you can work around that. For example, if you're in wheelchair, etc., I suggest that uh, you go to a personal trainer and don't let that stop you. Uh, there, we have lots of special uh, athletes that are ch have special challenges that are uh, incredible. They can do incredible things. And, you know, so I'm an overcomer. Uh, Christian counseling and Jesus uh, in, in the Bible uh, recommends, uh, yes, overcoming uh, and distance and endurance and going the long haul. And that's all a part of it. And so today I have a motivational tip for you. Uh, that website that I just said as well I highly recommend that you uh, look up now this guy is incredible he's a coach he's a late coach named Van Aken is his last name V-A-N A-A-K-E-N and he used to train uh, world-class long-distance runners he's a German uh, coach uh, and uh, you know he's very famous for his methods especially for long slow distance and training women marathoners that was his forte um, in the old European style the old-fashioned style often is the best uh, and uh, he recommends running at long slow distances at about the pulse rate of about 130 a minute and most of the running done in long slow distance so about uh, the perceived heart rate level of being able to talk or sing to yourself that will get you approximately the right level now I read one of his books I can't remember what it's called but it's bright blue I let it I, I mean sorry it's a bright yellow book I read it so many times that it fell apart literally I've got to get another one when I was learning to run as an older runner myself a master's runner they call it anyone over 40 and I'm 54 and uh, so you know I, I uh, run regularly and there are times I've lapsed and gotten out of shape you know being online or whatever and get just get back at it and uh, you know your body's very resilient as long as you have medical clearance and uh, you know you're 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 okay with your doctor to do this I highly recommend that you start with a brisk walk if you're out of shape retrain and get you know within three to six months you can go from a couch potato to a fairly uh, elite athletic elite uh, elite uh, physical condition and that uh, that gives you abundance of, of energy in order to do all the rest of whatever it is that you'd like to do and bring to your life also it gives you pr peace and your sense of time slows down like it did as a kid because you know kids are very active that's the reason why they have the metabolic rate and that that causes the sense of slowed down time and so they can do an incredible amount before noon because you know time has gone so slow for them you know how it took forever to get through grade one that type of thing well your time 
will slow down again as you get in shape aerobically because it really is about metabolic changes. Um, over time though you have to do this consistently three to four days a week 30 minutes uh, work your way up from brisk walking to slow jog, long slow distance jogs, minimum uh, uh, work your way up to an hour, three days, four days a week, that will get you eventually into athletic shape within three to six months if you persist and you must stay consistent and regular, that's the key. It will also cause your balance, your body to balance out and reverses diseases and all sorts of things. And this is my motivational tip for you today. I learned from Van Aken, that world class coach that trained world class, especially female athletes, long distance runners of all sorts, but he specialized uh, in, in uh, bringing mar women into marathon shape. Uh, what he said is the oxygen and the water. Those are the two, uh, you know, short, very quick, urgent things that the body needs. And so, you know, this is why it corrects and balances itself. And over time, you develop reserves, energy reserves, extra reserves to do, like I said, uh, what you want to do for that time slowing down and for that runner's high also that happens uh, you know from from the incredible oxygen you get now you get according to his book you know he's a physiologist among other things uh, or well read in it at least uh, coach um, is that you get two to four or sorry uh, four to eight times the oxygen level per uh, liter per per liter of oxygen I believe it was per, in the volume of blood uh, per minute and uh, so, you know, when you extend this out to an hour, your body is, it, all the cells of your body are becoming oxygenated as well. Your lymph system, which is, um, I learned in another course in anatomy, it's a circulatory system that, that um, parallels the, circul the circulatory system with the blood, but there's a lymph system where that, that's your immune system where it catches all the bacteria, etc. And that clears because the big muscles are constantly pushing it, moving that system because it needs to be moved out. The it only circulates through large muscles pushing on it, moving those fluids out. So your immune system clears uh, constantly. And now if you're doing this three to four days a week at the rate that you can sing or talk to yourself, you'll be about at the right range of long, slow distance training, whether you're starting as a brisk run or you're getting better and you're running faster, but never uh, more than uh, you can talk to another person or sing to yourself. And uh, so if you do that three to four days a week, you'll become in elite shape. Uh, and you'll find that uh, minor and even major health problems will reverse themselves because you'll be drinking more water. You'll be getting four to eight times the oxygen. Oxygen is the elixir of life, as uh, quoted by Van Aken, the coach Van Aken, the German coach that I'm telling you about, the world-class coach. And, you know, read runner's books. Uh, read Van Aken's books. Uh, and uh, also go to that website, www.letsrun.com. That will keep you motivated. And I have another book for you here as well for beginner runners all the way through to intermediate. Now, an intermediate runner is someone that can run uh, for an hour straight without stopping. Uh, you know, you don't start there, but the body's very resilient and adaptable. And as, as I said, as long as you have medical clearance, uh, you know, uh, you can start with a brisk walk and work your way up to able to talk or sing to yourself or remember uh, up to uh, an hour of running long slow distance eventually you know the speed just starts to come and uh, you know you do that for uh, six months to two years you'll become an intermediate runner and uh, so I have another book for you by Bob Glover and the covers worn off because uh, you know I've been so now I wonder if you can see it. and and Jack Shepard it's called the Runner's Handbook. It's a fairly uh, beginner, well-known beginner and intermediate book for running, and I wanted to pass these tips on to you. 
uh, so that you have them for yourself and that you you know you can do something proactive to uh, becoming a very healthy person and very calm at the same time and get back that sense of time that you lost as a kid you know where time just went so much faster and you could do so much more and we we're so much happier because you're feeling better that sense of well-being comes back and the energy reserves so I'm just gonna chit chat here for about the next 15 seconds that I've said most of what I want to say but it always cuts off early and uh, I just wish you all the best and that's that kicking butt cast for this week God bless you